Hey, so I was just watching this short little documentary called Who is Anne Frank? And I want to show you this 10 second clip because you'll quickly see how similar the history, how, how history is repeating itself. That's what you're about to see, how history is repeating itself and what, what to look out for. So check this out. Jews were stripped of their rights, forbidden from attending schools, from shopping at most stores, and from taking public transportation. They were subject to a curfew, and they were being sent to work in camps. All right, so they were sent to camps. They had a curfew. They were forbidden from taking trans public transportation. They were forbidden from shopping at most stores and from attending schools. So let's take a look at how similar that is to what's going on right now. Let's start with the schools at the top here. Ontario to implement mandatory vaccination policies for hospitals, schools, post-secondary institutions, and more. Okay, so right off the bat, they're already doing that to the unvaccinated people right now. How about shopping at most stores? Well, you'll need proof of vaccination to enter indoor ticketed sporting events, licensed restaurants, cafes, pubs, bars, lounges, nightclubs, gyms, exercises, dance facilities, okay? post-secondary student housing, all right, let's go back. Uh, from taking public transport, are they doing that to the unvaccinated right now? Well, yeah. Starting October 30th, to depart from Canadian airports or travel on the, the train, travelers will need to qualify as fully vaccinated. This will also apply to travelers on cruise ships when the cruise season commences in 2022. So yeah, you need it for travel as well. How about the curfew? Is that is that going on? Well, let's take a look. Sydney lockdown extended and curfew imposed on 2 million people. Yes, they are imposing a curfew in Australia and in certain parts of Canada as well. They have curfews. What's the curfew exactly? I believe it was what time of day it was. I'm not sure the exact time of day, but the curfew was, was put in place. I think it's like you can't go out past 10 p.m. and you can't be out before 5 a.m. or something like that. Okay. And lastly, sent to camps. Now, are they are they actually sending us to camps? Well, yeah, they're being built in Canada. They're being built in China. This is an example. China builds massive COVID-19 quarantine camp as outbreak continues. All right, and let's just get another aerial view of these quarantine camps. This is what they look like. And let's take a look at what a concentration camp looked like from above back in the 1940s. The reason they had these camps was because they wanted to disinfect people, right? That was the whole aim of it. In fact, if you go to this uh, Jewish virtual library, they talk about disinfection and they talk about what that was all about. And these are the gas chambers that they put the Jews in to to uh, to, to disinfect them. You can see here, they were meant for exterminating vermin. And uh, Vermin was also a term used by Nazi propagandists to describe the Jews. So they go in these camps, gas chambers, and disinfect these Jews by basically killing them with high, high heat and, and gas. Okay, now are they trying to disinfect people who are not vaccinated right now? Well, let's take a look. What are they saying here? COVID-19 symptoms, the Canada website. Uh, however, vaccines are rarely 100% effective and you still may become infected with or without symptoms. You can infect others even if you don't have symptoms. You may be infected but not have symptoms. So yeah, they're, they're trying to disinfect us. So this is just, again, it's all over my government website. It's all over the news. It's You just have to look back in history and see what the heck was going on back then. And uh, and you realize it didn't it didn't work out too well for people in the camps. Just saying.